All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, um, we're looking down inside the, um, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, down in there underneath the sand is the, the fire chamber that's on top of the, the ugly iron man, the, the top, the highest part of the inverted, um, the deal. We're casting it all in concrete. Um, I, I want to show you a part where I messed up. And do not do this because it won't work. I mean, it just doesn't work. My dad taught me this a long time ago when I was young. Um, and I just messed up. That's all it was. Um, can I make lemonade out of it? You bet. Um, but here we go. This is the very top. This will be the cap. When this is pulled, the the sand will be brought up to within just an imp of the, of the edge of this. And then just a, a crust will be put over the top real dry over tinfoil. Um, packed in and then let to cure. And then I'll, I'll cast an entire um, surface. A re That's what this one is being left on for here. Um, but this will be removed. Uh, this is just yesterday I, I did this one. Let me see if I can't get down without crashing. And hey, we're making this look good. All right, y'all. Um, is the This is the part do not do. And, and what that is is if you can see the difference there's a nice sheen through it all this has all been cast exactly the same mixed the same this is what happened is um the i have i have a trough where there over there behind the chair that black trough and and i put in one bag of sand and then i'll take three uh tips of the of this shovel out of that concrete and i'll mix it up and you're supposed to mix homogeneously mix the dust that before you add any water and some people will say oh that doesn't matter yes it does and, and here's the proof yes it really does um, is what i'm trying to get at and no matter like my dad told me when i was doing it he said okay son stop he said you you could mix until your arm falls off it won't it, it just my dad was like a concrete fanatic um he said it's not going to be the same and um so we cast it into a like a box or something off to the side and and we went back to mixing the right way and um and yesterday i thought about that and and, and i renew the results that was the bad part and i said how bad could it possibly be and if it is i'm going to cast me some some brick tile or you know concrete tiles and i'll, I'll because this won't move i mean this is all on that that 10 gate or 8 gauge stainless steel frame from the ground up i mean um, that's not gonna it, even if this section was gone and I, I i had thought about this idea deliberately to put sand in there um and then put down like tin foil or something like that and then keep casting but it would be like all wonky underneath there you know what i mean it would be hard to put the the tiles that i did or the idea that i'm thinking of um this way if this starts to come apart it's actually going to come apart um rather uh it'll be flat i mean flat the it it does suck out like some of the mix the nutrients of the other concrete and um and i don't know if i can zoom up on that so y'all can see that but if you look up here this is a really nice mix perfect and then as it gets closer to this other stuff it turns to crap and they were just put together wet but that's that's how much interaction the the chemistry or the alchemy pulls the the minerals apart um and it just won't mix i mean even i put in like a oh half a tip of of concrete more i thought i would make up for it and mix a little harder and um and it just doesn't i mean it just it doesn't the the concrete gets too much concrete um you know like if you're gonna uh or point in you know rock work or something like that that brittle hard and the rest it just doesn't it just doesn't mix so don't do that mix the homogeneously mix the dust together before it ever gets any moisture and it'll always come out perfect i mean just um it'll always look good you know like the rest of this looks good the but just i'm saying don't do like i did and and because this is be it's deeper this way by 10 inches than it is this way and that's only like or like five inches tall i guess six maybe something like that um but it's deeper this way I, I i can't see it popping out maybe a chunk of it'll fall or flake out or something like that but for structure like i said that inner core 
the Iron Man core is, is overkill. I mean, beyond overkill for the strength of this. And and it'll have the, the copper pipes wrapped around it. Um, and and I'm, gonna, I'm looking at going to Pueblo to pick up three... Uh, three three quarter inch 50 foot coils which are only going to be um, five the 50 foot is only five wraps around this thing and so it'll be 15 wraps total going up in the it's about that tall with the concrete on the other side of it it's right about there oh you can see it maybe yeah that's it right there where that kink is that's the that's the total height and um and like i said i may put just a thin a thin um skim because i was wanting to make a pizza oven up on top of this is i'm looking at a company they've not really got back well they kind of shot me back uh you know exactly who are you you know how can we you know exploit you more if you're the wrong person kind of thing and i was like well I'll find me somebody else but i was looking for about a 24 inch end cap that preferably didn't have propane in it because that'd stink forever um Maybe if I burned it in a fire or something like that, it, would, it wouldn't be so bad. But, um, but you know what I'm saying. Like a 100-pound propane bottle end would be... Pro oh, I'm sorry. I had it in the wrong place in this. Can't see up there. Is, um, I, was looking in the, I was looking down because the light was in my eyes too. Is, but right about where that kink was in that, full, in that metal right here is put the, the top over the top of it, the, a dome, pick something up out of the junkyard. I was hoping for stainless steel and buy it brand new. Um, but like 10 gauge or something like that'd be fine. Um, and then just rock over the top, you know, and then just leave the pizza opening oven, the, you know, the opening for the pizza oven. Okay, guys, I'm going to let that one go. Don't do this. Always homogeneously mix the dust before you do that. Um, but like I said, is it going to make like anything to this project? No, but you wouldn't have wanted that down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been horrible. Three thousand pounds. This, this somewhere around twenty something. I, I didn't figure it out exactly yet, but it's a lot of weight. Um, you know, if if I would have done this in the footer or something like that, I would have cried. Um, but hey, it is what it is. And, and like I said, this thing having ten inches of inward, you know, on the footprint. Um, I guess that it would have. It wouldn't even have hooked on. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have been good but it wouldn't have been devastating had it even been in the footer like that i guess is what i'm trying to say um in this one here is the only uh, i'm not leaving it on this is just for that next slip form when i wrap the coils up um i'll put a barrier like tin foil or something like that on there to reflect the heat in to around the outside of the the outside of the coil and then fill the rest with grout um with with like a filler um a reinforcement and maybe a wire in there or something like that um, because this this section is going to be the one that flexes the most and um and i just don't want it to you know it'll crack but i don't want it to pop out and then it'll stucco it um i was thinking something with tile you know stucco with tile insert um inset um make it look you know just something i don't know but we're gonna see and um i just wanted to show you what it was and this is where we're at this morning and don't do like i do right there let's see if it'll focus on it probably not this one i gotta get a new phone y'all um i just gotta get a bunch of stuff i guess and i think i'm gonna make my three-year plan and and try to do something nomadic i i want to do something different I, I drove truck for 20 years and so that was always like a a thing for me moving around um and i got all my bills paid and and i'm 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 looking for a a, a six by kind of truck, um, box van so I can get my wheelchair in and just build the build all the cabinetry down one side and if I do anything on the other side it'll be you know like um, cabinets to put all the controls and the um, stuff on the other side. Um, but keep me in your thoughts, your prayers, that kind of stuff. But I think I'm going to start getting around in my life. Um, I want to do that. Maybe even consult on hempcrete, stuff like that. Um, but it'll get me to move around the country. So if anybody, you know, knows a converted box truck or has an extra $300,000, let me know. Um, <laughs> one of them. It, it, it's just a, it's a, a wild goal, but we're going to hope for it, right? 
All right, talk to you then, and um, and hope you enjoyed your picked up something on this. And like I said, that's the only difference between, and you can mix all you want to mix. I, I mixed that an extra 20 minutes more than I mixed any one of these batches. Um, way more, 20, maybe 30. Um, I was really trying to make up for it. And you just need to throw it away or, or cast it into something else. Um, because when you put any kind of pressure on it, if that was if there was any amount of pressure if that was like taller than it was wide um it would just it would like double like a like diagonal and then a double diagonal is how it's going to break it's just going to break that way uh, my dad taught me that one like i said when i was young um but in this it may work just fine i mean it just might so you never know and if you do it like this and um like out in your sidewalks or anything like that they'll wear really fast or when you sweep it it seems like the the surface just wears away this is what you've done you know i mean if you don't think it makes a difference yes it really does and um and like those people that do the the dry pour concrete this is not the same their mix is homogeneously mixed and the water goes through it perfectly it can set up like a rock like a big crystal this is the the concrete is too thick and the sand is not getting mixed into it to uh, make the connection, the bond, is what happens. Um, but, and another thing, too, is we're a few days from firing it. And if anywhere that it's going to crack or blow out, it'll be in this band right here because of the water content in, that, in the harder concrete. Is the, the water at this temperature is about 1,700 feet per foot so if you got a cubic foot of water you're going to have 1700 cubic foot of steam coming off of this um, when it gets to the temperature that it, it runs at so is what is and and this has several cubic feet of water still left in it locked in the concrete so it has to be fired really super slow um, or otherwise it will just crack you know just one of them but it, it more than likely will crack anyways just you know i mean you're talking too little of tolerance, too much fluctuations, you know, in the heat. So it, it probably, it's going to crack up. Not probably, you take it, it will. So talk to you then. All right.